and we're going to see that the use of templates within the design, simulation, and validation phases will allow this designer in this brief demonstration to quickly and efficiently consider various design iterations within a few seconds that might otherwise take hours or even days to do manually. So to create the rear lamp for a new car, this designer relies on expertise gained from previous projects, which is really what KnowledgeWare is all about, that are done within the company. Efficient design practices have been captured, optimized, and stored in Cativ 5 to define the template elements, which will then be reused to begin a new project. Thus, the user does not have to start from scratch to ensure conformance to the new design. So all that said, let me go ahead and start the, the video clip here. Okay, let's begin the video. So we have a designer who needs to design the reflective lens for a taillight assembly. And to do this, he will first insert a geometric template of a predefined and fully parametrized parabolic surface with embedded knowledge wear that will represent the shape of the reflective lens. And this is picked from a shared library of components. Characteristics such as size and position are under user control thanks to parameters, so the, design makes some, the designer makes some modifications to the size of the surface and the focal length. The designer then inserts another template to instantiate a geometrical pattern of reflector elements onto the parabolic surface. The pattern is comprised of a great number of reflector elements and is morphed onto the support surface and created in a matter of seconds. You can see there are numerous user-defined inputs, such as the size and number of reflector elements, which can be adjusted by the designer during instantiation of the template. The designer makes the appropriate changes to expand the grid in both the X and Y directions to be slightly larger than the diameter of the fixture, and then modifies the parameter to install a hole for the bulb and defines the appropriate radius. Then he splits the surface to fit it into the light assembly. Next, he invokes a third-party CATIA partner solution to simulate a light reflection in order to check the photometric properties of the reflector surface. It checks compliance with official regulations thanks to an integrated set of validation rules. The definition and results of the simulation are integrated into the CATIA V5 tree structure, as you can see there, thus allowing native associativity with the geometrical design. Review of the results, as you can see here, shows that the reflector design must be adjusted to, in order to comply with official regulations. So the designer returns to the template grid to change the size of the panels. And of course, doing this manually would take hours, but the fully parametrized template allows them to simply redefine the size of the small panel in seconds. Modifications in the parametric design are automatically propagated to the simulation operation and a new report is produced, as you can see right there, now showing compliance with the expected standard. And finally, an additional check is provided thanks to realistic rendering of the new rear lamp, which we'll see in a few seconds here. There it is. So this completes the full virtual experience showing how knowledge-assisted design, simulation, and validation ensure a faster, safer, traceable, and cost-effective process. So the value proposition here is the use of fully parameterized templates to allow easy modifications of numerous user-defined values to quickly drive an efficient and acceptable design. And of course, this saves a great deal of time, improves quality, and allows more design alternatives to be considered. In this case, a single template can be created and fully leveraged for numerous light fixture designs. 